Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel SQL Dental Science. Sterilization in food industry is a controlled heating process used to eliminate all living microorganisms, including thermoresistant spores in foods. Compared to pasteurization, this is a heat treatment over 100 Celsius and this applies for a period long enough to lead to a stable product shelf life. Sterilization with dry heat, moist heat chemicals such as ethylene oxide are practiced in the food industry. Ultra-high temperature processing or UHT sterilization is a food processing technology that almost sterilizes liquid foods by heating it above 135 Celsius for 2 to 5 seconds, which is the temperature required to kill many bacterial endospores. UHT treatment can be used to low viscous foods such as milk, cream, juices, wine, salad dressings. Also foods with discrete particles such as baby foods, tomato products and soups. And for foods with large particles such as stews. UHT treatment means a very short heat treatment of approximately for 135 Celsius to 150 Celsius for only a few seconds. This results a sterilized product with minimal heat damages to the product properties. UHT treatment is only possible in flow through equipments. The product is thus sterilized before it is transferred to the pre-sterilized containers in a sterilized atmosphere. This requires aseptic processing. There are two principal methods of UHT treatment. They are direct heating and indirect heating. In the direct heating process, the product is heatable by direct contact with steam of portable or culinary quality. The main advantage of direct heating is that the product is held at the elevated temperature for a shorter period of time. For a heat sensitive product, for an example milk, this means less damage. There are three methods of direct heating. They are injection, infusion and electric heating. In the indirect heating process, the heating medium and product are not in direct contact, but separated by equipment contact surfaces. For this, several types of heat exchangers are applicable, such as plate heat exchangers, tubular heat exchangers, scraped surface heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers are similar to that used in high temperature short time process but operations pressures are limited by gaskets. In here, liquid velocities are low which could lead to uneven heating and burn on. This method is economical in floor space, easily inspected and allows for potential regeneration. There are advantages of the plate heat exchangers. The capacity can be increased or decreased by adding or removing plates. Also, both sides of the entire exchange area are accessible for cleaning and inspection. High heat transfer coefficient due to increased turbulence in the narrow flow channel also are advantages of heat exchangers. But the narrow size of the flow channels result high pressure drops and limits its use to low viscosity fluids not containing large suspended particles. Tubular heat exchangers There are several types of tubular heat exchangers. They are shell and coil, double tube and triple tube. All of these tubular heat exchangers have fewer seals than with plates. This allows for high pressures, thus higher flow rates and higher temperatures. The heating is more uniform but difficult to inspect. The next one is scraped surface heat exchangers. 
In scraped surface heat exchanges, the product flows through a jacketed tube, which contains the heating medium and is scraped from the sides with a rotating knife. This method is suitable for viscous products and particulates lower than 1 cm such as fruit sources and can be adjusted for different products by changing configuration of rotor. But this is a problem with large particulates. The long process time for particulates would mean long holding section which are impractical. This may lead to damage to solids and overprocessing of food such as sources. So let's see what are the advantages of UHD processing. UHD processing gives high quality products with minimum heat damages and free of pathogenic microorganisms. Also, the processing conditions are independent from packaging size, thus allowing for the filling of large containers for food service or food manufacturers. Also, there are some limitations. The UHD processing need complex equipment and plants to maintain sterile atmosphere. Therefore, this process need higher skilled operators. Also, overcooking of surfaces of large particulates can be happen. So, these are the basic things of UHD treatment. If you need clarifications, please leave a comment. Thank you.